We are nearing the end of this wonderful book, Save Me a Seat. We are on chapter 48, Joe. My mom and dad are pretty smart people, but the truth is they don't know everything. Turns out you don't have to punch someone in the nose or blab about your feelings to get your points across. Sometimes all you need is a little help from a friend. There are things about my life that are probably never going to change. Like for instance, my awesome metabolism or the fact that I have APD. But I have only been in fifth grade for five days and I've already noticed a big change. The other day when Mr. Barnes told me that the world was full of Dylan Sam Reams, I was pretty bummed out. But now that I know that it's possible for a couple of zebras to outsmart a crocodile, life is starting to look up. Not only that, but it's Friday, pizza day. Chapter 49, Ravi. I've always been Ama and Appa's shining sun and my grandparents' pride and joy. But today I have learned something important. Winning is not always about shining the brightest. Sometimes it's about sharing the light with someone who has been waiting in the shadows all along. It's 11.30 and the bell has just rung. My first week at Albert Einstein Elementary School is almost over. Amma's black tongue was right after all. Things have turned out okay. As I pick up my tiffin box and walk out of room 506, I feel like a new person. I haven't decided yet whether I will eat my curd rice or try the pizza today, but it doesn't matter because I know I will not be eating my lunch alone. When I get to the lunchroom, I know my new friend will be saving a seat for me. And I am right. <laughs> that concludes Save Me a Seat. And as you guess, now Joe and Ravi will be friends. I'm sure you've guessed that. And Dylan's Sam Reem, maybe he learned a lesson. But the main thing is we learned that it's good to wait and learn about people before we make any judgments about them. That's an important life lesson. It's taken me a long time to learn. I hope you enjoyed Save Me a Seat. And if you want to send any suggestions for the next book I will do for a read aloud, feel free to put those in the comments and we will continue to enjoy our pets. Miss Abipti was making a noise in the back there. And uh, I hope that you will enjoy reading as much as you can. Thank you for sharing this book with me. That was Save Me a Seat.